look at um, let's take a look at Genesis um, 6 5 Whew, that was a long one the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was evil continually There's a difference between wickedness and evil. Look up those definitions. And the Lord regretted that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him to his heart. So, what I'd like to point out is that <clears throat> wickedness is being disobedient to God's law maybe corrupting it or bending it a little bit where evil is um, to think of bad things so if we look at Isaiah 45 7 where the Lord says, I form light and I create darkness. I make peace and I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. We see that darkness and evil are created things. And light and peace are formed and made, respectively. So, what you should see is that there's actually two different things happening here. You've got one that's a process of creation, and then the other that's a process of works, forming and making. Notice that it takes work for the good to come. Creating starts in the mind. It's where you make a decision on what it is that you're going to do. And in some cases, that decision doesn't even have to be something that you will do. That decision could actually be something that you believe to be something that somebody else has done. I'll explain. If you judge somebody for something. You have that in your heart. You really don't know if they did. But what is in a man will eventually make its way out of a man. Jesus explained this when he said that to hate your brother is to murder him in your heart. So it's the same thing. Creation is the process of the is but is not. Maybe is not but is not yet. But yet shall come. And because God leads through two different means, through a staff, 
which brings blessings via obedience, or forceful submission via a rod is unbreakable law, and at which point then you become a suffering servant for breaking God's law, or trying to. You really can't break God's law because it's designed that way as blessing and curse. To remove all the complications of many, many rules and things that the Pharisees and Sadducees had penned and written down and things that they added to it, I would say the best and simplest and easiest thing to do is listen to mom and that would be Jesus mom and do everything that he tells you he told us simply to love God and to love your neighbor and that's all it takes all of the law hangs on those two things But man's heart is evil beyond all understanding. If you don't understand the intentions of your own heart, you should be locked up somewhere. Because a person who is doing things and doesn't know their intention for them, that's a problem. Shalom.